So as we all know, batteries and charges are a pretty integral thing to the world of vaping. We all have our own preferred battery brands and our preferred brand of chargers. And you know, the lovely people at Ohm Tech were kind enough to reach out to me and ask if I wanted to review slash test their chargers or uh, uh, their charger and batteries. So I've got a single charger here from them today, which is the Ohm School Squared. So it's a maximum of two amps across the two bays. It's a little, little charger. It looks nice and simple, and it is pretty damn simple indeed. Two little bays, springy contacts on there. You've got LEDs up the top, a USB input up the top there. You can put a maximum of 2.1 well, amps or greater in there, uh, depending on what you want to get out of the actual charging bays on here. But yeah, it's got some cool little designs on it. It recognizes whether the batteries are an 18650 or a 21 or a 2700 or a 26650. It has, you know, it determines the length on there. They call it battery length detection, uh, which is great. Absolutely great. You've got the LEDs up the top there, which do indicate how charged the batteries are. You can have zero voltage uh, activation on there, which is pretty damn cool. So if you have got some dead batteries in there, which do need a new lease of life, you can put them in here and hopefully it will reactivate them. If they're completely dead, then it may not do it. But yeah, I've been using this for around about a week now and it's been charging batteries absolutely fine. Nice and simple, nice and easy to read and use and, you know, all that jazz. It just does what it does. You know, it's a charger. It does it blooming great and that's absolutely blooming fine. But it has all the necessary protection things in there such as reverse polarity, wrong battery type and overcharge and short circuit protection on there as well. So let's go into the batteries. Now I've got some 20, uh, 20 21 700s and some 18650s. Now I've been testing out the 18650s. I've been doing a little graphy chart thing on the side here. Um, so if I go into them, I'll be back with you in a sec. So let's get on to their batteries. Now on the 18650 range, you have got Ohm Life, Ohm Stretch and Ohm Work. We'll start with Ohm Life. Now I have been testing these batteries out for the past two weeks or so. I've got a few bit of notes over here. So you will see me looking from side to side every so often, just so I'm getting the right things out to you. So we've got Ohm Life to begin with. So they come in beautiful little boxes like this. There you go, Ohm Life. And then if I remember correctly, you've got two little battery boxes. Yeah, you have inside two little rectangle things. And it's the same throughout, okay? You don't get any plastic battery boxes, but please do store them in a plastic or suitable battery box. So the Ohm Life, they look a little bit something like this, the actual cells themselves. This is the Ohm Life cell, obviously. Now you've got loads of information on there right not that it's going to bloody focus um, but i will tell you anyway these are 3077 milliamp hour they have a constant discharge rate of 20.7 amps and a 30.2 um, max discharge rate on there now i received these they were 3.49 volts so i did whack them in my charger and um, charging at two amps i got 2500 milliamp hour into these batteries then I whacked them in a mod, tested them until they were absolutely dead, which was down to 3.4 volts, and then charged them again. Now the second charge, it took 2,600 milliamp hours to charge these up to absolute full blooming life. Now these Ohm Life batteries, they have lasted me around about a day and a half, which is absolutely great. No complaints about that. A normal pair of batteries normally last me around about a day, but it does obviously depend on what atomizer I am using. But I was very, very happy with the life on these batteries. A very, very good all-rounder battery. Now with these, if I do remember, I'll put some uh, you know, tech specs and shit like that if I do remember. If not, it's not there. You're getting it out of my mouth. So let's go into the second set of batteries and they are Ohm Stretch. Just like this, Ohm Stretch. There's a few tech specs for you, but I'm going to say them out of my mouth anyway. Ohm Stretch, they come with a 2944 milliamp hour battery life on there, 22.1 constant dis discharge rate and 31.6 amps max. Now, um, they come to me with 3.86 volts in their charge. I did charge them at two amps and 975 milliamp hour went into them. Then I put them inside a mod, used them until they were dead and then charged them up again. Now, when they went to dead or 3.4 volts, I charged them up and 2000 milliamp hours went into them. Blooming good, 
I think that's blooming good. You know, they lasted me around about a day-ish, a little bit longer than a day, so I'm suitably happy with the Ohm Stretch batteries. Ohm Stretch, Ohm Stretch. Now onto the last set of 18650s, and they were Ohm Work. Now this is the box for them. Ohm Work. There we go, very accurate little blooming jobbies on there as well. So they are 2,547 milliamp hour batteries with a constant discharge rate of 25.3 amps and a 35.8 max uh, discharge on there as well. Now the first charge from unboxing, these took 875 milliamp hour up to uh, 4.2 volts. Now after I uh, used them, I charged them up again and 1,780 milliamp hours went into them. Now obviously these didn't last as long as the other two sets. These lasted me around about three quarters of a day. Um, so these are kind of like what my Samsung 25Rs are like at the moment. Um, so yeah, 25Rs. 25 25Rs 25 are 2,500 milliamp. These are 2,547. So they do work out around about right. But those 3,077 milliamp hour ones, the Ohm Life, were absolutely blooming, blooming great. They do have other ones as well, which I haven't tested, but I am going to show you today. Now they have got um, 2700s. So these are the Sherlock Ohm 2700 ones. They're the Sherlock Ohm, there we go. 3116 milliamp hours 41.3 amps um, they do have like recommended wattage as well for your for your unregulated mods which is really cool i really do like that on there and it gives you a, a, a unregulated ohms and max regulated wattage on there as well which is pretty cool um you have also got ohm run these are 21 700s so if we look at the tech specs on there there we go. Nope, there we don't go. Blooming, focus in, there we go. Um, so they got a 39.1 amp uh, constant discharge and a 49.5 amp max 0.09 lowest resistance, uh, 3023 milliamp hour. Now they have the same ones, Ohm Run Extra Large. So these again are 21700s. They have 4007 milliamp hours. These are gonna last you blooming ages. 30.3 CDR, 38.6 max, and 0.12 lowest resistance, 87 watts on the old recommended jobbies. So I, I personally don't have any, um, what's it called, prices on these. I don't know how much these are costing. Um, but, you know, I presume they're going to be a reasonable, um, a reasonable price, in all honesty. Um, but the one thing I do want to concentrate on with these is the information that they have on the batteries. And it can be more clearly seen on the Ohm Life ones. I opened these up and I thought, what the hell am I getting into with these batteries? So hopefully this comes into focus. If not, I'll just manual focus. I'll just manual focus it for you. So if you go into manual focus, we'll have a look. Now on these batteries, there we go. We get them up the right way. See, you've got the 60, oh, it's up this end, 60 watts, 87 watt max, and it's got a little star there. It's got all the junk on there as well. 20.7, 30.2, 0.17, lowest resistance. You've got all the tech info on there, if I get it the right way. It's got the scratch and check authenticity down here. And, you know, Ohm's Law calculated with real world devices. And then down at the bottom here as well, I'm blooming back to front, you know, advanced battery chemistry in there it's got the 18650 imr plus 3.6 volts etc on there and another nice thing as well on these on some of the batteries at the top they've got the little ohm symbol that's a nice little touch as well and um, just so you can see that they are authentic so if we go back into autofocus now this isn't really much of a review it's just kind of my personal findings with these batteries um, and I've found that they work absolutely fine. You know, I've got no complaints with them whatsoever. I have used them in regulated devices. I'm not an unregulated device using person. Um, but overall, they've been absolutely great. The Ohm School Charger, it is good. It does work absolutely fine. It works really, really well. But it's not a charger that I would use for day-to-day -day use. Because personally, with me, I like to have a screen on things. I like to see the level of the batteries going up and down. Um, or like, like what I use on my X-Tar Charger. 
Um, and it's not a charger for me, but it may be for people that don't want to know all the technical information going into the batteries and stuff like that. But, you know, overall, these products, they seem to be very well made. The battery wraps are very, very informative, if a little bit too informative at times. Um, but, you know, if you're a regulated user and you're looking for battery life, then the Ohm Lives would be absolutely great for you. Um, if you're unregulated, then make your own mind up um, with the tech specs. I will put a link down in the description below so you can go on their website and see all the different tech specs of the different batteries. Um, if I do go on there now, their batteries, they've got 8650s, 20, 21700s, and 26650s as well. So if you do have devices with them in, um, have a look and see what ones suit you best. But yeah, down below, in the description will be kind of like links and tech specs and stuff like that or maybe the pin comment i don't know um but yeah overall using these products has been absolutely great the batteries i'm going to continue using for ages the battery charger i may use that as kind of like my backup charger if i do need more than four batteries charged at a time um, because it works really well and i like the way it works and it's very very simple indeed so yeah, overall, I've said they're absolutely great. I've got no complaints about them. If I do find any um, links to Mooch or anything like that, I will put them down in the description or the pinned comment or something like that down there so everyone can see. But from my use, from kind of like a layman's point of view, these have worked absolutely fine. I've had no issues with their products whatsoever. So I'd like to thank the lovely people at OhmTech for sending these through for the purpose of review. I've been the Devil Vapor, and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.